everybody. Welcome to the podcast. And today we're going to talk about standards. So clients who come to me and work with me are typically type A women who either own successful businesses, their own, or work for a successful business, or are public figures. And you ladies are high achievers, right? You're perfectionists. You're driven to succeed. But did you ever stop to think why you're so driven? What is the motivation that is behind that need to succeed in all areas of your life, including weight loss and the body that you want to live in? Does that motivation come from within or is it from somebody else? We women were taught that there are standards that we need to live up to, but I want to question that. Do we really need to live up to some standards? Some of the standards you are like, you need to juggle all the things, right? You need to juggle work, family, life, be the PTA mom, be the successful business owner, cook the best meals, be the best soccer mom, have your house neat and tidy at all times, be an incredible wife and partner, and have the perfect body. These standards are BS. Who decided all this? Or was it just piled on after generation after generation? Back in the 1900s, early 1900s, yeah, women stayed home. They cooked, they cleaned, they raised their kids. Then women's rights came about, freedom to vote, get jobs. We started having a voice, but I feel like we still held on to that, like have to be a stay-at-home mom and then added the layer on of like, have to have a high powered job. I am not one to say you can't have it all because I think you can, but only if you want it. So what standards are you living your life by? And did you know that you get to choose your standards? Take a look at your life and list all the things that you do every day. Those are what you give priority to. Are you working 80 plus hours a week? Then you think work is a priority. But what is driving you? What is driving that 80 plus hour work? The feeling of lack of money or the need to prove something to someone else? What is the true motivation? This is the same for weight loss. What is your drive behind wanting to lose weight? I was just coaching a client on this the other day, and she was saying she wants to look good for other people. And when we dove in deeper, she was looking for outside validation that she is acceptable to others because she doesn't think she is acceptable. So who says? Like, who determines what is acceptable and what is not? We as humans are so diverse and so different. Skin colors, hair colors, eye colors, face, reactions, personalities. We're so different. Who gets to say what is acceptable and what's not? This is what our brain does. The way you look at your life is filtered through your thoughts and your beliefs. And you have standards inside that brain of yours that you are desperately trying to live up to. So if you haven't heard my smell analogy, this is like, if you haven't heard it, you have to go to Instagram at Nicole Simonin coaching and check out the reel on it. But the gist is we have our own smell, right? I have a smell, you have a smell, but I can't smell my own smell because I'm so used to being around it. People you are closest to probably have a similar smell, if not the same smell. And this is the same way with your thoughts and your beliefs. You've been thinking this way for over 40 years. Your friends and your family probably think very similar thoughts to you. And you cannot see your beliefs that are holding you back. This is why working with me will allow you to see those limitations that you're putting on yourself. I'm really good at hearing the words coming out of your mouth, but knowing what belief you're operating from that's behind those words. I ran into a friend of mine uh, the other day and we were talking and she said, you don't think like most people. And I responded with, I know. (laughs) To me, this is the highest compliment ever. Don't get me wrong. There was a time where I was very much in the social norms of ways of thinking, lack of money, lack of Lots, lots of lack, lots of I'm not good enough, it's not good enough, the job's not good enough, not good enough parent, all that stuff. But I don't think that way anymore. And to me, what she said, that was the highest compliment ever. The way I look at weight loss and even the world is nowhere considered normal. And I absolutely love it because it makes me a better coach and a better person. You do not want a coach that thinks the same way 
you do. Sorry, these gnats. <laughs> I know you can't see it on audio, but I just got attacked by a gnat. You do not want a coach that thinks the same way you do. They can't see your smell. It's too similar to them. Then if they can't see that, you won't be able to move past those stick points that you have. Inside my two services is Master Your Mind to Change Your Body, which is an on-demand video vault of all my foundational work to which I add frequently. If you are working with me, you are going to get a, um, you're going to have access to a worksheet that accompanies this podcast. So you can take it deeper in understanding what your standards are and how to make them work for you. If you're not working with me, you can do so in two ways, either group or private VIP. You can learn more about both at NicoleSimonin.com. It's N-I-C-O-L-E-S-I-M-O-N-I-N.com. So it's my name squished together. Um, and book a discovery call with me to see if you're a fit for either services. All right. Have a beautiful day and be well.